Hey guys, and thanks for stopping by my channel. So today is kind of like a not very interesting video, but I'm gonna try to make it interesting, sort of, kind of, maybe. So I got this box from Only Natural Pets, and the reason I ordered from them was because I found them randomly somehow. And uh, please excuse the parrot in the background. He had to be put away for reasons we will not speak of. Um, <laughs> But I found, I bought a bunch of like different food and I found that Titus actually likes, sort of likes one of them. And he's really, here's the box. He's really picky. So if I find something he's gonna eat, I'm gonna buy it. And the cats also needed a dry food. They like the wet food, but it doesn't seem to keep them full long enough. So they like wet food and I give them wet food, but also they need dry food. So, they always give you a pamphlet, which is really nice. And um, there's usually a coupon code on the back. And the pamphlet kind of is like a catalog of like all the things they offer. So this is what it looks like inside. So this is like a pet food haul, but also um, just a little update about the rabbit situation. If you didn't watch the other video, I have a box of rabbits sitting in an, there's, there's baby rabbits sitting in an Ulta box in my bathroom right now. <laughs> They're like this big and I'm trying to hand feed them. And there were six babies. Two of them were in bad shape to begin with and they have un unfortunately not survived. Um, so I'm really rooting for the four that are left and I'm really trying my best to keep them fed. I actually got them to urinate. Here's a picture of that. And it is very important that if you are like, you know, helping out orphaned or baby animals that you have to stimulate them to potty. You can't just let them do it themselves. Some animals can't without stimulation. So two times a day I feed them and once a day I stimulate them. I just found out that um, they do make a rabbit hand feeding formula. So I just ordered that. I also ordered a syringe that actually comes with a rubber nipple attached at the end, which I could have used a week, a few days ago, but whatever, uh, it's coming now. I also got um, eyedropper to also try to feed them because with a syringe itself, it's a little bit difficult. It doesn't feel like a nipple in their mouth. It's just like probably just like this huge tube that's like going in their mouth. So, uh, and I also bought uh, Benabac, which is like probiotics for all different species of animals. So. If these rabbits don't survive, I am definitely prepared for any her herbivorous type of baby animal that comes my way. If it's a possum, skunk, I mean, I'm ready. I am ready. But anyways, let's get back to this. Also, one other thing, very depressing thing. Um, not only did I lose a rabbit today, but I caught a mouse in a mouse trap that wasn't dead and it was suffering and I had to end it for him or her, I didn't check, uh, because I cannot stand to see animals suffer. Like, that's why the trap is supposed to make it quick and it didn't, it made it worse. So I know I'm being so sensitive and silly and stupid, but um, yeah, that really like put a damp on my day. So I thought I'd make this video because I really, I really wouldn't have because it's kind of boring but I really wanted to talk to you guys give you guys an update on the bunnies and so the four that are remaining three of them ate really well I gave them raw goat milk mixed with powdered goat milk because from what I've been reading raw goat milk itself isn't even enough like they need more fat and protein and nutrients so I'm mixing it with powdered until that stuff arrives so three of them have really nice big fat bellies one of them medium sized belly, it, it really fought me like the whole time. Um, so we'll see what happens. But anyway, so on to this box. If you haven't entered the giveaway, go check that video out as well. And, um, oh, should I tell you now or should I wait? There's another giveaway that's completely different that's coming really soon. I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm not gonna tell you guys what it is yet. It's just one thing, but it's like 
a really nice thing and kind of an expensive thing, but I got a really good deal on it, but still kind of pricey, but I love you guys. So I wanted to do something nice for you. So there's another giveaway coming, but I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet. So if you watch my videos and in their entirety, you'll, you'll know the sneak peek, little sneaky peeky, but it's shipped. So it should be here soon and that video will be up soon. And so yeah, there is another giveaway coming up and it's pretty cool. Okay, so I got these for Titus and this is the thing that he actually likes to eat. He doesn't always eat it. Sometimes I have to mix it with cat food, which isn't great for him and he's getting fat and stuff. But if I leave regular kibble out in a bowl and don't feed him anything else, he will starve. I never knew this about a dog that they would do that. He will starve himself. Which isn't like I mean I could do that for a few days because he could lose some weight, but um, I want to give him something healthy to eat, and I want him to like want to eat. You know, like I want to give him something that he's gonna enjoy. So I found that he kind of likes these, and this is like a freeze dried raw food, and this one has ground chicken, chicken heart, liver, sweet potatoes, broccoli, apples, goat milk, apple cider vinegar, herring meal and mixed tocopherols, which is usually vitamin E. And this one, is a, so this is a chicken one, so I got two of those, because it was buy one, get one half off. And I got one of the beef and tripe. I got one that is a free range venison and liver recipe. And uh, I got another beef and tripe, because I know he likes the beef and tripe. For the cats, I got a rabbit dinner which is so odd right i'm trying to save baby rabbits but here's some rabbits for the cats to eat um this is a kibble for cats and it is a uh, rabbit and then also got these are all by only natural pet like that's the company but they also sell other brands so i also got um who makes this who makes this fussy cat so this is by fussy cat this is a chicken and turkey recipe for the cats to eat. So now everybody should have some sort of a form of kibble or hard food because I noticed that when they only eat canned stuff, their stool is kind of runny. And especially if you have ever had issues with anal glands in dogs, I feel you because all my little dogs seem to have that issue. It's good to give them food that like come like helps put the pressure on the anal glands to express themselves when they poop so that you don't have to do it or have your vet do it or your groomer or whoever. It's disgusting. If you've never smelled it, it doesn't smell like pooper farts. It smells like rancid fish or something. I don't know, it's oh. working in a grooming salon. I had to do that before. I didn't work there very long, uh, <laughs> but you can actually manually express them, but it's not fun. The dogs don't like it. The people don't like it. So if you can like get around doing that and do it a healthier way, like through foods and stuff, all the better. Anyways, thank you guys for listening to my rambling and putting up with a lame video. I'm sorry, but the sneak peek of the giveaway, I'm so excited. I can't wait to show, tell you guys what it is. And I know when I bought it, I wasn't actually going to use it as a giveaway. I was going to keep it for myself because why not? But I was like, you know what? Cause I have some of them already. I'm like, you know what? This would make a great giveaway thing. So that's what I'm going to do. So stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.